Isaiah 26 verse 3 in the NIV reads, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Hi Church, my name is Louise and my spiritual home is Audacious Church Central Campus where I attend with my husband Phil. We have been blessed with two wonderful children, Amy and Joel, who are now 26 and 22. I serve on the response team and also help to lead on the Alpha team. It's so wonderful to serve God and his people in this way and I recommend everyone should join the team. I also think it's so important to join a small group too where you can be surrounded with good godly people where we can support each other in prayer, encourage each other and grow in our faith together. I was brought up in a Christian home and always went to church. I gave my life to Jesus at a young age and although there were a few years in my teens and early 20s that I wandered away from my faith, I thank God he never left me and kept pursuing me. I also thank my mum and dad for introducing me to Jesus and for their continued obedient and faithful prayers for me over the years. There have been new, numerous miracles I can speak of during my life for his provision, his forgiveness and for his healing and I praise and thank God for each and every one of them. One particular God miracle was back in 2007. I'd been working in a very busy beauty salon for over 10 years where I'd been generally happy most of the time. One summer when my family, family and I were on holiday with my mum and dad, I woke up from a dream. It was definitely God speaking to me. This, had, this can happen quite often. My sister always jokes with me that I'm too busy in the daytime to listen to him, so he has to get my attention when I'm asleep. Anyway, I remember telling my dad about the dream. The last few months at work, I'd been feeling like I needed a change and, and not quite realising just how stressed I'd been. I just knew it was time to leave my job and I really wanted to work for myself as a beauty therapist. At the time, my dad was working as a caretaker at the apartments where they lived and part of his work was to clean the communal areas a couple of days a week. So I was thinking I could help him with that and he would be able to pay me a wage. My dad was an electrician by trade and he was still doing that type of work too, but work had gone really quiet recently for him, so I didn't think he'd be able to afford to pay me to help with the cleaning. Anyway, later on that day, while we are on holiday, my dad got a phone call almost out of the blue from a guy he used to work for, who he hadn't seen for ages, and he was offering him 18 months, work of, 18 months worth of work. It was perfect and amazing God timing as I was then able to hand my notice in and work a couple of days for my dad whilst earning some money. And on the other days, I was starting to build my own beauty business and work for myself. God's hand was 100% in all of that and he knew what was best for me. I'm working full time now in my beauty business and I absolutely love my job. There are ongoing situations in my family that we are currently going through where we are still waiting for miracles and breakthroughs to happen. I lie awake at night with anxious thoughts and worries and I find myself listening to the lies of the devil instead of God's truths and promises. It's then that I remember and start calling on the name of Jesus and proclaiming who he is and start praising his name and I say sorry for not trusting him because I know that God is big enough and strong enough to carry my burdens and clear my mind of worry. God doesn't always answer us in the way we expect and we won't get to know the reason why this side of heaven. But our God is all powerful and loving and he will bring good out of what we are going through. When I begin to praise him and lift up his name, I feel his almighty peace start to fall on me and calm me, like he's wrapping his loving arms around me and then I can sleep again. In a recent sermon in church, I was reminded again and encouraged that God is still working in our waiting. And faith says, even though it feels like God's not talking, I'm not going to stop walking. We just have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. And as my beautiful dad, who passed away a couple of years ago, always used to sing, my Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is follow. In the key Bible verse for today from Isaiah 26, it reads that if we trust in God and we keep our minds stayed on him, he will give us his peace. I thank God for his word to us and I encourage you and I I encourage you all and myself to fill your minds with his truth and promises that are found in the Bible. Whatever miracle you are praying and waiting for, whether it be for healing physically or mentally, salvation for family members, a husband, wife or a child, reconciliation in relationships, provision for a job or a place to live, I pray for you all that you will trust God in all circumstances and that he would give you his peace that surpasses all understanding. God bless everyone and have a great day, church.
Bye.